venerable sirs uh, dear dhamma friends including our students today i am so happy to be here to represent a few ideas related to his holiness dalai lama uh, actually i am so lucky i met him uh, when i was in delhi new delhi uh, i met him two times uh, i think you can see one picture on his screen that is one of events um on uh, he was offered or awarded a uh, uh, magsaysay award at that time uh, there was a big ceremony in new delhi so uh, mahabodhi society invited me uh, to participate to that ceremony and uh, offer a flower bouquet at that time actually i was so lucky he got it and he kissed me on my head and he said uh, he uh, gave his blessings to me and in another occasion i was uh, in new delhi at that time also there was a big ceremony in a big garden in india in new delhi there were uh, three stages in the middle of uh, that hall not actually it is not a whole uh, outdoor stadium uh, in the middle of that stage uh, dalai lama uh, took seat uh, both side there were two stages uh, on those uh, two stages uh, continuously there were many four performances uh, here right side uh, finished the first one then the left left side started that way i think four hours uh, music dance and various kinds of activities are presented on those stages uh, i am so happy uh, to uh, meet uh, dalai lama when i was in delhi today uh, i would like to read uh, four commitments of 14th dalai lama Uh, i don't uh, move to discuss any facts because of the time limited uh, first of all i would like to give a brief introduction on the th- uh, 14th dalai lama the dalai lama is the head monk of tibetan buddhism and traditionally has been responsible for the governing of tibet until the chinese government uh, took control in 1959 before 1959 his official residence was potala palace in lhasa the capital of tibet tenzing gyatso is the 14th dalai lama of tibetan buddhism he was born on july 6 1935 to a farming family in a small hamlet located in takst amdo and northeastern tibet The Dalai Lama belongs to the Gelugpa tradition of Tibetan Buddhism which is the largest and most influential tradition in Tibet. At just over 5 years old he was enrolled in the local monastery and began his training. He was also trained by the highest monks in Lhasa. He was enthroned at the age of 15. in 1950 amidst the start of troubles with china but continued to study until the age of 25 dalai lama are believed to be the reincarnation of avalokiteshwara an important buddhist deity and the personification of compassion dalai lamas are also enlightened beings who have postponed their own after life and chosen to take rebirth to benefit humanity dalai means ocean in mongolian uh, the name gyatso comes from the tibetan word for ocean lama is the equivalent of the sanskrit word guru or spiritual le- teacher or leader put together 
the title of dalai lama is literally ocean teacher meaning a teacher spiritually as deep as the ocean when Dal- when did dalai lama go into exile the political landscape of china started changing in the 1950s plans were made to bring tibet officially under chinese control but in march 1959 tibetans took to the streets demanding an end to chinese rule chinese people's republic troops crushed and revolted and thousands were killed the dalai lama fled from tibet to india with thousands of followers during the 1959 tibetan uprising where he was welcomed by former indian prime minister Jawaharlal Nehru who gave him permission to form the Tibetan government in exile in Dharmasala now i am going to explain his four commitments dalai lama visited gaya in bihar where he spoke about his four commitments in life the first commitment is to promote peace and happiness i quote uh, one of his expressions uh, expressions the purpose of our life is to be happy dalai lama always explain the happy life how to uh, start a happy life how to produce happiness in the heart uh, and the quotation where will we find inner peace there is no single answer to this question but if there is something that is very clear no external factor can create it the only way to create it is by looking within it is clear that something is seriously lacking in the way we human are going about things but what is it that we lack the fundamental problem i believe is that at every level we are giving too much attention to the external material aspects of life while neglecting moral ethics and inner values so we have lost our peace because of the neglecting uh, our inner or moral ethics and inner values second uh, commitment is spread compassion the essence of compassion is a desire to alleviate the suffering of others and to promote their well-being this is the spiritual principle from which all other positive inner values emerge compassion is a great teaching of dalai lama uh, that teaching came from the lord buddha uh, he expanded the concept all uh, over the world among the human beings that's one of expressions uh, from dalai lama don't ever mistake my silence for ignorance my calmness for acceptance or my kindness for weakness compassion and tolerance are not a sign of weakness but a sign of strength the third is to carry a message of love amidst the violence in today's world violence is a complex concept violence is often understood as the use or threat of force that can result in injury harm deprivation or even death it may be physical verbal or psychological the world health organization defines violence as intentional use of physical force or power threaten or actual against oneself another person or against a group or community which either results in or has a high likelihood or of resulting in injury death psychological harm mal development or deprivation humanitarian work the dalai lama is the spiritual leader of tibetan buddhism and in the tradition of bodhisattva he has spent his life committed to benefiting humanity 
he has written numerous books and conducted hundreds of conferences lectures and workshops at major universities uh, and institutions throughout the world discussing engaging in wisdom compassion and more recently environmental sustainability unlike his predecessors the dalai lama has met with many western leaders and has visited the united states europe russia latin america and many countries in asia on a number of occasions known as an effective public speaker the dalai lama is often described as charismatic his message is always one of peace and compassion for people all over the world during his travels abroad he has stressed the need for a better understanding of and respect among different faiths of the world he has made numerous appearances at interfaith services and has met with several heads of other religions including pope john paul ii dr robert runsey the uh, the archbishop of canterbury uh, gordon b hinckley the president of church of jesus christ of latter day saints and patriarch alexius ii of a russian orthodox church he has advocated peaceful solutions based upon tolerance and mutual respect in order to preserve the historical and cultural heritage of his people in recent years a number of western universities and institutions have conferred peace awards and honorary doctorate degrees upon the dalai lama in recognition of his distinguished writings in buddhist philosophy as well as his out- outstanding leadership in the service of freedom and peace fourth is the preservation of tibetan culture and values this is the fourth commitment uh, it means uh, he wanted to preserve the tibetan culture and values the dalai lama and the refugees who followed him created a society in which tibetan language culture arts and religion are promoted his holiness says i retain a responsibility to try to preserve tibetan buddhist culture which is a culture of peace and compassion my concern no longer is a struggle for political ind- independence but to focus on the preservation of tibetan culture religion and identity at present many valuable institutions to preserve and spread tibetan culture not only among tibetans but also in the world have been established let's begin with religions let's begin with religion his holiness has been very direct about the need to improve monastic uh, discipline saying quality is more important than quantity when it comes to monastics so say in this uh, word i would like to wind up happy birthday to his holiness dalai lama thank you very much